make you go do Anytime when I see you, the one go low When you love when they make me, they follow go I don't mind Hey, good morning. The show is Morning Grill, Chill and Grill on Lorraine TV, and um, this is the entertainment segment of uh, the morning show. Well, on today's edition, uh, we shall be uh, deliberating on the on the word blog, B L O G, uh, and the blog is a website that allows users to reflect, share opinions, and discuss various topics in form of an online journal, while readers may comment or post respectively. So. I'll be having uh, the CEO of OldTownGist.com in the person of uh, Chinedu Hadenwadiki. He's a blogger and um, doing a whole lot you know, when it has to do with the internet. And uh, he will be talking about uh, um, the blogging, uh, as the case may be. And there are certain talks in town. Yeah, and uh, he's a guru on that. So uh, we are going to be deliberating on blogging this morning on Orient TV 59 Star Times 113. I am Ugochuku. Steve Oba, no, that's a good play too. Chine Duhadi are uh, behind the scene, and after this break, we'll be having him on set then to talk about blog itself, blogging. We'll be right back.
call on you. Blessings they on the way. Any man we put the sun down on a thunder. Okay, the show is still morning green on Lorraine TV, uh, 59 start times, 113 respectively. Prior to this time, I talked about uh, blog, okay, uh, for most of us out there, it's a social network uh, on the internet whereby uh, you get a, a, an informal one, though, uh, where you get information, uh, you can always comment and post respectively. So I have um, um, Hadi Omadike. Uh, the CEO of uh, OldTownGist.com and also uh, works with us in IBC in the ICT Center and really, really doing great. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Mr. Hadi Wadiki. Thanks, man. Hadi Wadiki, you see, I don't know, some, some people out there, they'll be like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> what about Targary and all of that? Because uh, something emanated this morning on the social uh, media talking about WhatsApp, a group that uh, <laughs> I'm involved in, and uh, certain uh, shots were being taken. But then let me not go there. We'll talk about that subsequently. But then, who is a blogger? Okay, uh, who is a blogger? The answer or the definition? The definition of a blogger keeps evolving. You know, previously it used to be someone who had a website or maybe probably there's what we call blog then, where you have a subdomain on WordPress or Blogspot previously, you know, all these things. But basically, a blogger it's someone who has a platform where he posts things that he loves, things that he cares about. That's how this whole thing started. Somebody can start a travel blog, and he's traveling around the world, posting, taking pictures, posting stuff about wherever he goes, somebody has a health blog, and there's this new health issue, he wants to go over there, talk to people about it, and all those things. And now, but today, once you say you're a blogger, everybody looks at you as someone who has a place where people wake up in the morning, go to read the latest news, and all of it. That is what it's about right now. And it's changing, because a blogger will not have video blog, Okay. We also have social media bloggers, you know, basically people they call influencers today. You know, people who don't have a website, per se, but what they do is there is a current news, or they wake up in the morning, they can share up to 10 to 20 current stories on their Facebook or social media platform for people to come read. They are also seen as bloggers today. You mean social media influencers? Yeah, you, you can call them social media influencers, but they are also seen as bloggers today. Things are changing. So your, your social media handle can also be your blog. You know Instablog today. They don't have a website. It's just on Instagram. There are other hot Facebook pages, or there are other hot Facebook accounts, individual their accounts are more like hotspots. So anything they post okay. just gets lots of viewership. That's what it's all about. Now. Okay. Uh, I haven't mentioned um, the um, social media influencer. I, I don't you think there should be disparity between the blog? Of course, you said things are evolving, things are changing, that one can double, do the two and all of that. But the way it stands, I want to major in Imo State, the way it stands. We don't really know who are the, the bloggers itself, even if we know that they have um, their own website, but then we see some people that don't have their own uh, spot on the internet like, as a blog, you know, claiming that they are bloggers as well. And um, if when, when you press forward, they tell you that they are uh, social media uh, influencer. And if you check from what I observe, that's the reason why I have to bring you is these things are creating um, a little bit, uh, bit uh, would I say, a, a little problem in the sense that um, some will tell you that, okay, fine, a blog should be. You know, posting new 
and um, current events and rather than posting the stale stuff. And now you, if you check the two, you see that, um, okay, fine. Some blogs, some blogs in Imo State today, uh, I see some of them living up to expectation like, you know, carrying news. But some social media influencers may go back to start reflecting on what ha had happened. Now there is this mix up. Some feel like, okay, this is a stale news. You shouldn't be talked about. Why are you talking about it? Because I'm, I'm talking from what I observed. I would like you to take it from your own perspective. Now, and now don't you think there is this um, confusion between a social media influencer and a blogger? You, you also look at it. I said things are evolving. And when you look at social media platform, the goal of every social media platform is to make their users stay. When you, you, you know, previously, for WhatsApp, for instance, previously, let me say last year, if someone sends you a YouTube link on WhatsApp, you tap the link, it takes you to YouTube or it opens on your browser. But these days, a YouTube link opens on WhatsApp. You, you watch it okay. and the, the view counts on YouTube. Okay. Now, what they are trying to do is they don't want you to leave because when you tap, it takes you somewhere else. You... You, you see yourself, you, you might be in a position where you see something else you like and you are staying on that other platform. Now, everybody wants people to stay. So coming back to places like Facebook and what happens, social media influencers posting stale news and all that. Now, why you being current things, this is stale. There is someone else who hasn't seen it. And being a social media influencer today, you know, people see it as being that person who talks about everything that is happening. Most times, uh, most influencers have this fault of not creating content, of not creating events. Maybe you see something wrong happening somewhere. They are afraid to talk about it because they feel like I'm the only one talking about it. Some people are good at following trends. And now, by the time you join the trend, it might have been stale. And you know how Nigeria is. Things get stale easily. You call it stale because once it starts happening, you see you have 5,000 friends on Facebook. You, you just realize that 100 people have posted that particular thing, word for word. And it's now annoying when you see the next person posting it. And that person is posting it feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm this guy, I'm posting this current news. Oh, okay. So it becomes a problem, it's annoying. And that is why people are now hitting on social media influencers. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you understand? So, and because people feel like, okay, I've seen this thing from 100 people, but I need to see something new from you. Okay. Now, um, the reason why this will become an interesting topic is about what revolved today, this morning, so to speak. Is comedian laughing gas took shots on uh, bloggers. He said, yeah, I have to mention, okay, it's an entertainment uh, program. He, he, had, he, he said something that, um, that uh, most bloggers in Imo State would want entertainers to come and bow to them, you know, before, you know, they blog or talk about them and all of that, that it's not uh, applicable to those outside, but those from this part of the country, talking about Imo State, would want them to come to them for blogging, whereas they blog others, for, you know, uh, without necessarily seeing them. Uh, what's your take on that? Uh, uh, this is not just from Laughing Gas. Laughing Gas is doing fine. Oh, He's no. a guy I know. And there are a whole lot of others. I, I don't want to start giving people that publicity here. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is there are people who cry over local content not being promoted. But all I right, feel... All right, all right. I feel they are the content they are complaining about that is not being promoted. You know, uh, recently, uh, lots of people were writing, you know, they were throwing their jibes on bloggers. You know, I was quiet. I didn't say a single thing because I, I don't believe fighting war solves all problems. But sometimes war can help you wipe the bad guys away. You, you understand? So the whole thing was too much. You know, I wrote something about someone and then they started making fun of me. They're trying to bring me inside the whole jive thing. And now they mentioned my name. They mentioned my brand. Now that was direct. Well, who so, didn't mention JC? <laughs> I wanted to mention. <laughs> okay. So, so no, no, I, I, like I said, JC, I'm, I'm not oh, doing that. Okay, I think so, JC of Rich FM. No, whoever mentions the name is not my business. But what I'm okay. saying is, now I try to educate them. 
Let me let me let me take you back. You know when um, late Prince Noel Lunebu, you know, okay, the guy yeah. that was okay, shot okay. at mm -hmm. Rapo. Mm -hmm. Now he was trying to organize an event. Then Imo got talent. I was working closely with him. Now I I remember that two weeks after his death, we were seeking partnership with some state-based newspapers, trying to see how they can help publicize the event. The prizes they were giving us, which is, they actually cut down prizes. They were still high for the budget we had because we didn't have much money. We were still pleading. Then, fast forward, two weeks later, Prince Newell was shot in his hotel room. Now, Prince Newell made cover page, like his full picture. We were even saying, let our news come on the cover page without picture. But when Prince Newell died, his full picture was standing on so many. And for, two, for one week, he was on cover pages of so many state-based newspapers. And what do you call that? Now, the, 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 my reply to some OAPs or some individuals who are complaining, I, I just, my, the last paragraph on what I wrote is, Dango tasted the fine money. Even Facebook, even Google in themselves still pay for adverts. So why can't people pay to be promoted? Okay. Now, it's, it's um. a problem. You, you say promotion. Now, I, I wrote something. I, I said when an artist releases a song, he takes that trip to OAPs in the radio stations and say, Baba, please play my song. Please take this. And, I mean, the OAPs feel it's okay. But then an OAP buys new dreads, takes pictures, posts on social medias, and expects the bloggers to write OAP looking stunning today. And then when you come as their Facebook friend and comment on the picture, they feel it's not enough, that you should kill yourself on the picture. And one thing they don't know, they feel like people talk about Two-Face on social media and all that, all that, all that. I mean, that's crazy because one thing they don't know is every great artist, every great label has a PR person they pay always. And they don't know. Their media, the, their media life is zero because they are not investing in it. If you want to grow, you cannot grow with favors. You grow by investing. You grow by saying, I want this. I mean, I am in the media. I do artist management. I remember uh, those days when, when, I was, when I started working with um, my, my first artist, Flogzy. We went for a show in Abba. I needed videos of my artists on stage. What did I do? I just walked up to the first photographer I saw. I said, bros, who is the boss here? They pointed at the guy that's the boss. I went and said, bros, my artist will be going on stage. I want the video of my artist after this show. He said, he did, uh, uh, we know they give you that. I said, bros, how much is it? He said, uh, okay, give me this amount. I, I instantly put hand in my pocket because I budgeted for it. I gave mm. him the cash. After the event, at the hotel, because all of us are staying in the same hotel, so the guy came, they copied the videos to me, and I did the promotion. So if I said it's because my artist is in the video, it's now my right to have it. It doesn't work like that. You invest. You People invest. don't do that here. You feel everything comes to you based on who you are. You are nobody. You are no bigger than Facebook who pays for adverts. You are no bigger than Google who pays for adverts. So if you want promotion, then you pay for it. But if you don't want promotion, then get involved in one tragedy, get involved in one extremely extraordinary event, and you see people talking about you for free. But if it's your ordinary life, you take pictures, you sign endorsement deal, and if you sign endorsement deal, I think the, the company should even promote it if they love promote you. Promote it, yeah. And as long as the word promotion is used, it is paid for. It's like advertising. You pay for advertising. And if you're not willing to pay for it, I don't think you're ready to grow. They don't come for free. So I even if you are the biggest artist, you, you go for UK, London, Lagos, Abuja, you go for Banana Island, or, you know, that's not about this business. You need to have a PR team. You pay them. They create content for you. Else, you will grow to that level, and without the media, you die off. In other words, what you're saying is that the promotional factor, hence these people, you know, bashing you or bashing bloggers that they're not doing their best means that they're not really doing enough in order to, you know, invest in, in the area of promotion. That's what you're saying. I'm saying that, but then there is this other side where they say local contents are not being promoted. Okay. Yeah. Um, when, when I look at that, I can agree with them to an extent that local contents are not being promoted, but they should see something that I'm a blogger. 
actually president of Imo State Bloggers Association, and I, as every other person have their forum easily today, we'll have our own, and then discuss all these things. Now, the issue is how many people have content that are worthy of being talked about? How many people are humble enough to say, hey, please, I, I, I want this thing to be talked about. I don't have money or I have this little. How many people can realize that uh, both, let me say, in the entertainment industry, you've got the bloggers, you have the OAPs, you have the DJs, that all of us are in the business of promotion and none of us is an island can exist without each other. You know, people don't understand. As, as an artist, you need to throw your song on the radio station. Why the radio is playing it? I, okay, I, this song is informal by this artist. Somebody say Iforma by this artist. Oh, nice song. They go on Google, download. search for the song. Where do they find it? They find it on a blog to download. And they go to club the next day. Where do they, who plays the song? It's the, the DJ. DJ. So everybody, we are all in that circle of produ pr promotion. The collective uh, effort. You understand? Mm -hmm. so nobody is against the other person. We are supposed to work together. And we have the artists, we have every other entertainers, even ourselves in the middle. Now, for people crying for no local promotion. OK, I want to ask this question. Those OAPs crying, how many of them, how many of them have maybe um, how many of them have maybe um, a, a program like Old Town News, Imo State Entertainment News on their radio program? How many of them are anchoring such program? Zero. Now, I, I, I don't brag. I do my research. And every other person complained. I went to their Facebook timeline, Twitter timeline, Instagram timeline. Not for a single moment did, not talk, did they talk about anybody that didn't pay them. They don't even talk about any other person. Yet they are in the media. Do they forget that they are in the media as well? That it's also their job to talk about other people like us and not just posting pictures and talking about themselves all the time. So this is where they get it all wrong. You, you understand? You just sit back. The, the, a crime that you are the number one person that is guilty of and you are saying other people are guilty of it is crazy to me. I really love this game, okay? I changed the money in this morning and uh, I just allowed him to do the talking because they will not. Because uh, sometimes they, they say these things and... Um, it, it, it's, it's usually one-sided, but it's always good to like, okay, when you hear from this side, you hear from, from this side, then everything balances and all of that. I really love this. You, need, you really need to, you know, to put uh, a little bit of, um, would I say promotion, because it's, it's also involved, in, it, 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 I think it's also a part of our marketing mix, talking about promotion. If you have a product, if you have anything without, you know, putting it out by promoting, how can it get out to your to target uh, audience or those you're really targeting? So that's one thing we should be really conscious about. Okay, um, I think we should be rounding off now. What advice do you have? You know, uh, do you, the, uh, I would like you to talk about this, the synergy. Um, I understand that um, things do happen, but it's always good to like talk about it and also um, ensuring that every, everybody comes together and work collectively, ensuring that things work fine. You don't get beef already <laughs> with Princessa. Beef, no day. Okay, no beef. beef. Yes. No beef, no, 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 no beef. Okay. Every, every other person you will talk about, they are all, we are all friends. Seriously. No, we really see, having fun. Yeah, we it, see and we hug. This is showbiz, actually. Entertainment is fun. The, and do you know what's spectacular thing about entertainment? When it becomes controversial. <laughs> sometimes it becomes the uglier, fun. the better. It's yeah, showbiz. That's the truth. The uglier, the better sometimes. No, so, something, so, let, let me just take this. You know, somebody took a shot on Isha and just concluded um, his Selim Awards. And uh, one wisdom, boom, Nigel, they about. And the guy was like talking about the credibility of the show and all of that. You know, that I wasn't there. And um, I had to like, okay, fine. Um, not really trying to, you know, condemn any part. Like, okay, I, I posted on the, on the social media that I would like to have the two parties, this one, the organizer, and they, they are grieved. And some of them were like, oh, no, 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 we're not right for this and all of that. And my concern was that, man, this one, this thing, this thing will make the industry interesting. Yeah. You know, all of that. Because, um, yeah, it will make the industry interesting. I, I was there at the award. I was there at East Celeb Award. Mm -hmm. East Celeb Award had come to stay you know i understand why people will complain about credibility of winners and other things you know along the line during the voting the online voting there were issues okay with the voting platform and all that but 
those things are minor. You know, what I had expected was to see maybe press, press releases from the organizers, you know, saying we are sorry for this and this is how we remedied it. Okay, you okay, understand? So okay. just seeing winners come up like that and everybody feel like, what is going on? Probably I was winning, but now another person mm -hmm. has won. So if, you know, integrity is about when you are trying to do something for the public, one of the first things you should do is have this channel where you reach the public. That is still where we are coming. You know, just imagine if a blogger writes whatever I'm saying now, trying to talk about the credibility of the votes and all that. You know, someone will see it like he hates the brand. But is he lying? For instance, I, I wrote something about... Um, What's his name? I wrote something about Airs Buster okay. not attending an event organized by his level. The, okay. the, uh, the new one. The runway. Ro okay, okay. Runway um, entertainment. It, it, runway uh, independent night concert. Night concert, yeah. okay. He is signed to the label. He didn't attend the event. He didn't attend the event. Then I called the manager of the label and he said there is a gap in his words. He said there is a gap between the artist and the label. Now, I did my story published last night. One number was calling me, calling me. That number keeps calling when I'm on call. So finally, I got to take the call, and the person said, Hello, uh, I just want you to know that this call on, is on record. I say, Who am I speaking with? He said, He is Barrister this. I said, Barrister who? Okay, go. so you're trying to tell me that the call is on record, and the recording will be used as evidence against, against me. you. He said, uh, I say, guy, you the mad. Just go to the website you saw the story. There's an email address there. If you feel I have done something wrong to you, outline it, send it to the email address. Don't, don't you think... The don't guy you, ended okay, the call. Okay, okay. He didn't call back. He, he couldn't finish. I, I was pissed. I, I was forced to try to say something on social media, but then I kept quiet. I still have recordings of, of the owner of the label saying they have issues with the artist. And that's basically what I said. So I don't think, I think the person that called me is even crazy. You don't just call somebody on phone because you're a lawyer and you start threatening the person. You know? don't, don't, don't you think all these things will really hamper the, the real effect of, of news dissemination? Because um, when, 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 when let, let me say, in the area of entertainment, when things are trying to be bent, you know, you, people are trying to run away from the truth, from f facts and figure out all that. Don't you think it will hamper or stand against or what blogging, what information stands for? It has already killed it. The, the fear of, you know, the fact that you don't want to have a fallout with lots of people. And you know how we started this thing. I know who I used to be. You know, I made whatever reputation I have today because I, I was fearless. I, I said what I like as long as I know it's true. And I didn't care. I was just like that in the showbiz here. And that was what brought the media in this place to the level. It is. At one point, I stopped. And now I started again. And all these things are coming up because I started again. You know? okay. I started taking all those swipes. You know, you're doing something wrong. I'll mean, I, I talk about it. That's the fun of it's, showbiz. It's, it's and now, when we take away what we call the real news in entertainment, this person spotted doing this with this person, this person spotted doing this. When we take all those things away, the next thing that remains there is promotion, which is to write, uh, Ugo Pluto is getting married next week, which is to write, Ugo Pluto is trying to release an album tomorrow. You see, the truth is, those contents have fewer views. They're just usual. They are just can, normal. But normal. if we say, why Ugo Pluto fought Hadi in the bar last week, that's news. Spectacular. You know, people will look forward now, to like... People want to know. That is the uglier, the better in showbiz. People want to read about it. Now, you as a person, being the subject, you feel bad because this is negative on you. But if you understand the industry, you, know, you can use it for good. And you can stay in the news. Why would Sky B fake his own death? So, <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what it's all about. That, because that <laughs> Sky B has been on the news. But who cares? It's, it's been that content people scroll and pass. And it went viral. But everywhere. Death. That's what that and I said. Remember when I said, when you are involved in one tragedy like death, everybody talks about it for free. Free! But if it's promotion... Guy, 
pay for it. If it's promotion, pay for it. Definitely, because it's just like it's an investment anyway, and you just have to, you know, put your money where it counts. Well, I think we should be rounding off as it stands right now. No beef, like you said, nothing. Um, all of that, the, all, all, all of that, you know. Every other person. Well, for me, for me, when I dropped my sorry to cut him, but when I dropped my art, the article I wrote, I, I just I titled it the untitled. You know, when I dropped it, when I read it for like the third time on a different platform, I felt very bad. Because I know I was really harsh, but then I I felt I felt I felt very bad, and somehow I felt like I should just tell everyone I hurt. Sorry, but that's the game. Remember, I said sometimes war, it's not good, but on the other time, war help you wipe the bad guys out. And since that article dropped, everywhere has been quiet. Everybody has been normal. At least it achieved something. The normalcy has come back. But yeah. anybody is free to talk, man. You are free to talk. But don't go hating on people. So speaking out is part of the game. But now, if you are in the media, I'm in the media. Don't act like your media is better than my media. You understand? Mm. You, you don't act like you are on the radio and all of you have got this medium that is stronger and better than this other one. Yet, what you are talking about is that this uh, low quality medium you are talking about, that they are not talking about you. Remember, what you are saying is that they don't talk about you. If you are complaining that they don't talk about you, it means you feel they are important. So, why don't you go straight to the point, say their thoughts without insulting people. You don't have to insult people. That's why we get it all wrong. You can actually advise people without insulting them. But, you know, when people do these things for publicity sake, so that they will throw the jibe and why people will respond, you know, you throw that jibe against 50 people and maybe about 30 <coughs> people will talk about you. You now have 30 important people talking about you. You feel like, oh, I'm the bad guy. But no, wow. That's crap. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why they are even, because me, who don't talk about me? I'm many times, Kwanu. I just do my thing and that's it. Pluto, where do people <laughs> to promote you? <laughs> <laughs> but I do promote now. Yeah, if you, if you, the, the cocoa is everything you see on internet. Okay, you go to people to be promoted. Okay, if, fine. If it's you true. have something, chat someone up. Say I've got this. You understand? Even if money no day, uh, this is advice to everywhere. If money no okay, day, okay, find yeah. a way to balance it. Mm -hmm. Even the yes. money no day, find a way to balance find it. Way to balance Not true. So I'll start investing on that right now. Yeah, like you said. Okay. Um, that's how far we can go. Uh, thank you very much for doing justice welcome, to bro. blogging, blog itself, uh, talking about uh, the CEO of OldTownGist.com and also uh, an, an ICT guru, also with us here in IBC, talking about the Hadi Omadiki. You know, we just um, did the talking, and I believe you've learned a whole lot, and uh, we've also sanitized the industry. You know, so there's no beef between OAPs and bloggers. Who, like the way uh, it was painted on the social media this morning, it was like, what? I was like, man, I will bring this and I'll bring Hadi, and that's what we just did right now. Thank you very much, and uh, that's how far we can go on today's edition. Uh, do join us again on Tuesday, yeah, for my own section, no? and that's how it will be. Don't forget to join me on um, the show, radio show, Live Act 305 on Orient 94.5 FM. So if you love acting, let's go there, 305, then we'll do the acting. Together, I'll bring a very interesting topic, and then you do your acting. Hey, what's up? All of now. Let's do it. It's a wrap right now. Sign out.